Hello everybody, this is Angie at Cuckoo for Coupons, and this video normally would be a CVS haul video, but I am not doing a CVS haul this week because I had probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had at CVS on Sunday, so I decided not to do a haul this week, but I wanted to explain why, because I feel like this is going to be an ongoing issue and I just wanted to explain why I might not be doing CVS hauls, but once every other week. So before I get into that, if you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. And if you're new to my channel, please say hello below. I would love to get back to you and welcome you to my channel. All right, let's talk about CVS. Okay, so as some of you know, the stores in my area have switched to two-week ads. And as you can see from the lovely picture you're looking at, I do not like the two-week ads at all. <laughs> I was so used to the one-week ads. It was so wonderful. I want to make sure you understand, I love couponing at CVS. I think it is a great store to coupon at. I think it is a great store to start couponing at when you first start. It's probably the easiest of all the stores, and you can get some amazing deals. So I'm not trying to like bash on CVS. I am super, super grateful for all of the savings that I've gotten from CVS and that I continue to get from CVS. But this two-week ad thing, it's got to go. This, this is a problem. <laughs> So, okay, they started doing it a couple of months ago in my area, and it kind of caught me by surprise, I'll be honest, because one week it was one-week ads, and then suddenly, boom, it was two-week ads. They didn't explain it to anybody. It just appeared. I went in ready to do my normal deals, and then they were like, oh, we don't have these deals this week. We've changed it all. And ever since that week, I have had nothing but issues. For whatever reason, it took a while for the ads in the app to update with the correct prices, at least where I live. So for instance, I would pull up the ad of the store that I shop at. I made sure it had the correct address in there. And it would say something like, you know, this week you can get two CoverGirl and get a $6 extra buck. But then I would go into the store and it would be you know, this week you can get two cover girl and get a $4 extra buck. It would never match the ad, even for the correct address. Or there wouldn't be a deal at all on the item. It was always messed up, and I talked to multiple people about it. The managers were always like, oh, is it still, you know, doing that? We'll have to get in touch with somebody. So they knew it was an issue. Okay, initially they were very nice. They would be like, you know, we're just going to give you the extra buck because it's on our end, it's no big deal, which I really appreciate it. But the problem with two-week ads <laughs> is that there's only a certain amount of really good deals that you can do, because some of the deals you don't want to do, right? So there's certain ones, you know, like the CoverGirl deals that you want to do, and then there's certain ones that aren't very good that you're like, I'm not going to do those, because I'm not going to spend that much money. So I would go the first week, I would do the deals, and that would be all the deals because they're a limit of one. So you can't do those same deals the second week. So then the second week would come. I would have extra bucks from the first week. And the only deals that are left for me to do, because I was trying to make videos every week, would be like the buy one, get one 50% off. You might not necessarily get an extra buck back with it. So I was using my extra bucks to get deals that I wasn't getting extra bucks back for. So I was using all my extra bucks. I wasn't accumulating any. And of course, because I'm not accumulating any, by the time the third week would come, which would actually be the first week of another two-week ad, I didn't have any extra bucks to buy the item. So I was paying out of pocket using my PayPal debit card or whatever else, which I don't want to pay out of pocket for all of those things. So it was really messing with like the rhythm of, you know, rolling your extra bucks. So that was one problem. 
There were many other problems. When I would go the second week, they wouldn't have any of the items. They had sold them all the first week, and then they just didn't get any in or whatever else. So it was very hard to find deals the second week. But I was finally starting to make it work a little bit. I was getting a few items. I wasn't doing like big hauls the second week. I was just getting a few things here and there. Well, this Sunday, this past Sunday, it was the second week of an ad. So last week, I was able to find some pretty good deals. But this week, it's the second part of that ad, which means all the good deals have already been done, right? So there was only a few deals left that I wanted to do. So I planned out my trip. I had it all ready. I had my coupons ready. I had everything written out the way I wanted it. And that takes time to do. So on Sunday, I go into CVS. And what happens? None of the deals that were in the app for that location were the deals that were tagged in the store. Every single, single one was different. So I ended up not getting most of it. I decided to do the L'Oreal deal, even though it was not the same amount of extra bucks that it said in the app, but I decided to do it because it was still gonna be a decent deal. And then I had like one of those free hair, hair dye CRTs. So I did that on one transaction. And then I was gonna get these caliber notebooks on a second transaction. So I get to the register, I do the first transaction, I had to go to self-checkout because there was a line a mile long, which kind of surprised me. But (laughs) so I go to self-checkout, I ring up the first order, and it was the caliber notebooks. I was supposed to get a $5 extra buck back. Nothing prints, I don't get any extra buck. I spent more than 15, which was what I was supposed to do. I still didn't get it. So I had to set that one to the side. I went ahead and rang up my second transaction. I got no extra bucks. So none of my extra bucks printed. So I had to get in the line. I go to the cashier. She tells me, yes, I can see that you got what you needed, but we're not allowed to print extra bucks. So I can't help you. (laughs) And I said, so you can see that I got the items that I was supposed to get. And I spent the amount I was supposed to get but you can't help me? And she went and got somebody else. That person came up and was like, ma'am, if your extra bucks don't print, that's not our problem. You can call the 800 number and they can deal with you. And just walked away from me. And I was being super nice at that point. Like I'm a pretty patient person. I worked in customer service for years. I know what it's like. So I was like, what? So I ended up stepping to the side and I called customer service. I got transferred like four different times. And finally I got somebody on the phone. I said, they're telling me, you know, they can't print my extra bucks, so what should I do? They said, well, we can't help you. You have to wait 48 hours. (laughs) And I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, come on. So I was like, all right, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna get into it with anybody. I'm just gonna return everything. So I returned the first order. And then I returned the second order. Well, when I returned the second order, I had paid with my care pass. The girl says to me, just so you know, you're not going to get your $10 care pass back. Now, you guys know we pay for those care passes. I said, what do you mean I'm not going to get my care pass back? She was like, we're not allowed to give care passes back. And I said, (laughs) ma'am, I said, I pay for my care pass. I said, you're going to have to give it back to me. And she is adamant that she is not giving me my care pass back. And I was like, that is like going to Walmart, buying a toaster, finding out it doesn't work, returning it to Walmart, and then just saying, thank you, and not giving you your money back. I paid for the care pass. I am supposed to get it back. She insists that I'm not supposed to get it back. The other girl had to come up again. That other girl says, nope, you're not getting the care pass back. And I was like, (laughs) and at this point, I am starting to lose my patience, okay? I was trying very hard not to, but I still had the people on the phone. And so I asked them, I said, am I supposed to get my care pass back? They were like, yes, of course you are. So I said to them, 
the lady on the phone says I'm supposed to get my care pass back. And they were like, well, we can't issue it to you. So if they want to give it to you, then they can give it to you in 48 hours. But we're not giving it to you. So, yeah, that was my experience at CVS. It didn't go over very well with me. I had to leave the store. (laughs) I was like, okay, I am done. I am not going to get myself all worked up in the CVS. I said, I would just like my, you know, extra bucks. I'm going to leave now. And I left the store. I go sit in my car and I realize that they gave me my care pass back. So they spent all of this time arguing with me over a care pass that they had already given back to me when they did the return. They just wouldn't give me the receipt. They were holding on to the receipts the whole time, saying that they weren't going to give it to me. And it's there the whole time. And also, I was annoyed because I lost all my coupons, including the free hair dye coupon. So that's a pretty high value coupon, and I lost it. And then I turn around and I realize... I'm sitting in my car, right? The cashier is standing next to my window. I roll down my window and she's like, you forgot something and hands me like my old, like the receipts that I had done the returns on that still had like all the coupons at the bottom. And she was like, I hope you have a great day. (laughs) She just walks away. And I was like, so she didn't mind walking out to my car to give me my leftover like CRTs that I accidentally left there. But they couldn't print out an extra buck for me. It was just really strange. It was super strange, and it was very aggravating. And I was like, no more. I will not do this to myself anymore. So I probably am only going to do CBS hauls every other week. I will do them like the first week of the ad. And that's not set in stone. I mean, if there are some other good deals, then I probably will go and do them, and then I'll film it. But if there's only like just a few things left and they're not really that great of deals, I'm not going to go in there and have to go through all that. Hopefully, they will get everything situated. I am going to try to have confidence in them that they will figure this out because, again, I do love couponing at CVS. But, you know, there's just been quite a few issues lately. So I'm going to, you know, not let myself get frustrated. I'm going to go when the deals are good. I'm not going to stress myself out saying, oh, I have to go every week. I'm just not going to do that. Plus, I mean, the deals at CVS lately have not been amazing. They've been all right, but they have not been amazing. So I'm not really sure what's going on with CVS, but... Hopefully they will get it together. I'm really hoping, I've got all my fingers crossed, that they're going to go back to the one-week ad in my area, and then I will rejoice, and I will probably go every week again, and it will be amazing again. But until then, I'm probably just going to do the every other week, and then I'll go in the middle if there's some good deals that I'm sure I could do and I'm not going to have too many issues with. But that's my CVS story, and it ended up being really long. I thought it was going to take me like five minutes to explain it, but here I am like 13 minutes later, so I apologize for being long-winded, but I wanted to explain, and now you know. But of course, I do want to say thank you guys so much for listening You didn't really have to watch because there wasn't much to watch, just a couple of little pictures. But thank you for listening. And as always, I hope you have a great day and good luck couponing. And I really mean that. I hope you have much more luck than I did at CVS this past Sunday.